Okay guys, so this is case problem one, chapter 2.2 .2 in PowerPoint. So everything from the data files is all given to you by your teacher. None of this has to be done from scratch. So as you see, we have opened the theater PowerPoint that you are given. So now you're gonna want to apply your theater theme. So you'll go up to design, go over to your themes, browse. For me, I have to go to my quick access to open this. So now you're going to hit your theater theme right here. So this is going to change your entire theme. You're going to want, and then you're going to want to put your name, etc. So from there on, you're going to want to apply the picture style to moderate white to pictures on slide two, three, four, and five. So we're going to go to two. We are going to go format. Go down on your picture styles and your modern frame, moderate frame, white is right here. So we're gonna want to go through real quick. We're gonna do that to all of the pictures on slides two, three, four, and five. So now that we have that done, we can move on to the next part of our whole thing here. So on slide six, recent summer performance, you're gonna insert the video. So in order to insert the video, you're just gonna click here You're going to go to browse, then you're going to find your video. My video is right here on the local disk, so we're going to double click, and then there's your video. Bam. If you play, it's going to play right there. So there's that. So we're going to compress the media to low quality. So format. Give me one second here. Why will it not compress? You know what? I probably looked over it. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and skip that real quick. So now you're gonna want to insert right here, you're gonna want to insert another tab, another box per se. So we're gonna go to our layout. We're gonna insert above. We're gonna insert the name the junior jazzers. Tab. We're going to go seventh. So now we're going to erase formatting. Actually, hold on. We're going to seventh through ninth. And then we're going to go over to the top of this and we're going to remove the formatting. That's going to go ahead and it's just going to put everything back to the way it's supposed to be except for that, if I can spell. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put RAR Ford Koskowski. This is going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays. At 4. PM and then we're done there. So that's that page. So now we're going to change the table style to medium style. Medium style one accent one. So we're medium style style one medium style one accent one. And then there's that. So that takes us on to the next table the next page and so now what we're going to do is on slide 8 which is a blank page layout we're going to draw a rectangle shape that is so it almost fills the slide but fits inside the purple and pink borders on the slide so these are the borders that it is talking about right here 
So we're going to go to insert. We're going to insert a picture. Downloads. We're going to go with what? Group. No, nope, we're going to we're going to insert a shape. So we're going to insert a rectangle. So we're just going to lengthen that one just a little bit longer here. Bam. So there is your shape. This shape fits inside, just inside of where everything's supposed to be. So now within this picture, in this within this rectangle you're going to want to it says you're going to want to insert the picture group so now you're going to want to fit this picture completely in to that square so notice how it completely covers a square except for when you move it around so this is how you're going to want this so now draw another rectangle shape that is one inch higher and stretches from the inside of the pink borders to the left and right Position this rectangle directly below the purple line at the top of the slide. So you're going to want to insert another rectangle. And you're going to want to take it from here to here at about right there. So position this rectangle directly below the purple line at the top of the slide. Remo remove the fill from the shape and remove the outline that is that is, change the fill to no fill and change the outline to no outlines. So, shape fill, no fill. Shape outline, no outline. So now, this is... Well, can I, can I get a hold of that? There we go. So, that's what we're going to do for right now. We're just, this is how we're going to get a hold of it. So. We're going to fill it back in real quick so that way we can see it. So, and that's in the second rank rectangle, you're going to insert a text box. Actually, we're going to control Z. So, this actually, we're just going to delete. We're going to insert a text box. So within that text box, as you see, it's just going to go ahead and light up. You're going to type in see you at, at the theater. Exclamation point. So after that, you're going to change the oh let's get it all in here oh there we go so you're going to change this to broadway you're going to change it to 44 font so that way it pops you're going to want this to pop and you're definitely going to want to center this so that way it looks like it's completely done by an amazing person so and then you're going to change it to where you can see so that way people can read this as they look at it. So, and then on slide eight, you're gonna, this alone is going to have a transition. So this is gonna be grow and turn. So this is gonna have an animation. So grow and turn. So as you see, it's gonna come in and it's gonna pop. They know what's there. So then you're going to take the duration down to 0.5. So, and then you're going to do this with the previous. So that way it automatically does it whenever anybody does anything. So then on apply drape transitions to all the slides and curtains to eight. So you're going to go transitions, go down, put in curtains. And what I did is I just went through each one as they go. And you're just going to drape every single one of them besides one and eight. So we're getting close to two. So here's two. So now this, nope, not what I wanted to do. So we're going to cut that out. 
So now we are going to use curtains. So when it opens up, this is how it's going to open. Save your changes and then watch the slug. On slide 8, change the duration to 2 seconds instead of 1 second delay. So this is the outline, this is the basis of how to do all of this. There's more to it, but this is the most complicated stuff to do. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. Thank you. Bye.